The truth behind red flares, white steam clouds, thick black smoke, and prices at the pump. Thanks so much for joining us, and I'm your host, Marie Choi, and this is Common Sense, where we feature local Torrance businesses. It's amazing how many things get their start from a barrel of oil, like the gasoline you use to drive to work every day. With a little bit of common sense, we'll tell you how one local company has been providing gasoline, fuels, and other products to California and the entire world since 1929. Tracing its roots back to the late 19th century, General Petroleum Corporation began operating right here in Torrance and would later become Mobile Oil Torrance Refinery. Well, it's, a, it's, it's actually it's an old gasoline pump and you can see up the top you used to fill up with the number of gallons that you wanted and then you actually gravity fed that into your car back in the 30s and 40s. So this is, this is a real actual uh, pump that, that uh, that we have here as one of the kind of one of the, the historic items of, uh, of mobile and general petroleum. Uh, the Torrance refinery has been here for over 75 years. It was built in 1928 and 1929, began operation in 1929, and it's operated continuously since 1929. Um, it's gone through quite an evolution through its history. Um, originally built uh, to take crude oil that had been discovered up in the San Joaquin Valley up near Bakersfield and convert that primarily into fuel for ships in the LA Harbor. Um, it was uh, an important source of high octane aviation fuels through World War II uh, as well as other fuels for the military. Um, was almost completely rebuilt in 1960s. Uh, major modernization and expansion of the, the processing capacity. And we've continued to add to the, to the capabilities of the refinery through the 70s, 80s, 90s, and on through 2000. In 1998, Exxon and Mobil signed an agreement to merge and form a new company called Exxon Mobil Corporation. Today, the Torrance Refinery occupies 750 acres, employs nearly 800 people, pays more than 11 million in taxes annually to the city of Torrance, and produces over 1.8 billion gallons of gasoline per year. ExxonMobil Corporation uh, strives to be the premier petroleum and petrochemical corporation in the world. Just like any other business, the Torrance Refinery also faces competition. Who are oh, the major major oil companies and their familiar names uh, that you know that I think think you would know? Uh, BP is a is a major competitor. Shell, ConocoPhillips, Valero, all major competitors uh, of us. So what sets them apart from the rest? I think the quality of our people, the uh, the capabilities of our people, the dedication of our people is is second to, to none. Um, and, and I'm continuously amazed by, you know, by those qualities and, and that pursuit of excellence by the people in the corporation. Torrance Refinery processes nearly 160,000 barrels of crude oil per day by using the most up-to-date technologies to produce the highest quality gasoline, aviation fuels and other materials to keep California and the West on the move. Their chemical company is also a big part of their operation. ExxonMobil uh, Chemical Company is actually the third largest chemical company in the United States. And the products we make um, are, are things that, uh, that go into uh, finished products that you'd be familiar with. Um, things like uh, tire tubes for your, for your bicycle tires, chewing gum. We actually make some products that go into chewing gum base, they go into caulking for your house, they go into window seals. Uh, they go into a number of components in your automobile, uh, from the cover on your dashboard to the bumpers to the hoses and the belts and, and, um, and the seals around your windows on your automobile. We make products that go into everyday things like uh, compact discs, uh, plastic water bottles that you're familiar with for bottled water, 
Um, medical, a lot of medical uh, devices use uh, the plastics that, that we produce. So we, we produce a broad range of chemical products that are then taken by others and made into finished products. Let's take a closer look at the Torns Refinery product distribution. ExxonMobil's M70 pipeline, one of the country's most advanced, carries some of the heaviest crude oil in the world. More than 70% of the crude oil that enters the Torrance refinery is refined into high quality, specially formulated low emissions gasoline. Other products of the Torrance refining process include jet fuel, diesel fuel, liquefied petroleum gases, and sulfur. Nearly 10% of the gasoline sold in the state is sold right here in Southern California. So there's a good chance that you use homegrown gasoline in your own car. It's true today's prices are higher than they have been in recent years. But when you adjust for inflation, you can see current prices remain well below historical highs. Carolyn Keith is the public affairs manager for the West Region. One of her most important responsibilities is to communicate with the public and to make sure they understand and are able to get their answers clarified, such as issues concerning gasoline prices. Gasoline prices is, of course, a, a major concern to the public. It's a very visible part of what we do. Our product is sold on the street. It's probably the only product that has huge signs on every street corner that tells you what the price is. When you go into a grocery store, it's almost difficult to find the price of a quart of milk, for instance, but our signs are very public, so the, the community watches it closely. And because they need our product and they are concerned about the price of it, we're happy to address those questions. And I think that more and more people are beginning to understand what accounts for the price of gasoline and that the major um, aspect of gasoline pricing is the price of crude oil, which we have no ability to control here locally. But we're happy to answer those questions and explain what goes into the pricing of a gallon of gasoline. For more information about gasoline pricing, visit the American Petroleum Institute's website at www.api.org. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. Sun exposure starting in childhood is a major cause of skin cancer. That's why you should apply a high SPF sunscreen and keep your kids covered up whenever they're outside, not just at the beach or pool. Protect your children from the sun. They'll thank you for it someday. Welcome back. From the outside, Torrance Refinery looks like a giant maze of pipes. Deborah Richter is one of two process department managers responsible for operations at the refinery. On any given shift uh, for running the refinery, where we turn crude oil obviously into the fuels that, uh, that folks uh, use out in their vehicles, diesel and uh, gasoline, uh, we actually have about 50 people on shift and, uh, and uh, those are operators that are out in the field and we have uh, roughly uh, 15 supervisors then that, that ensure that uh, the operations run flawlessly. Back in about 1990, uh, to aid the supervisors in really being able to monitor operations and uh, really come up to the technology uh, of the day for, uh, for, for operating a refinery, we actually built this room that we're standing in, which is the central control uh, room, central control building. And uh, in this building, we actually house uh, 10 console supervisors. And today, I'm standing in front of the Hydro Treater console here with uh, Dan Stedler, one of our uh, console supervisors. And from this, from this console, he is able to monitor one of our units, the uh, Hydro Treating Unit. And uh, this unit is actually one of the newest units here at the refinery. Uh, we built that uh, right about 1990 as well to meet the uh, new uh, California Air Resource Board carb gasoline. Uh, since that time, uh, uh, we've actually continued to improve the, the operations uh, and uh, make even more clean, cleaner burning uh, gasoline. Each day, employees like Gary Hodges work around the clock to turn 6.5 million gallons or 155,000 barrels of crude oil into usable products like gasoline. Basically what we want to do in this refinery is make gasoline. There's many uh, reasons to have crude oil, such as plastics and everything else, but this refinery here is set up to make just gasoline uh, for the Southern California, Phoenix area. Here, crude oil has to go through a four-step process to be turned into products such as gasoline, kerosene, and jet fuel. 
The four steps are distillation, purification, conversion, and blending. The refining process begins when the crude oil enters the crude or distillation unit. Step 1. Distillation, or also known as separation. In the crude unit, the crude oil is heated until it naturally separates into five levels of materials. The crude unit is the first place we, we start to process the crude unit, the crude oil. Uh, we bring it in and we heat it up to 700 degrees. Basically what we're trying to do there, we're trying to figure out what oil we can make gasoline out of and what we can't. And that's the separation. So Step 2. Purification. Purification process destroys any unwanted components, leaving a cleaner product behind. Step 3. Conversion, or also known as converting heavy oil into gasoline. In the conversion unit, the refinery converts heavier materials to lighter materials by changing its complex molecular structure. Step 4. Blending. Nine different streams of gasoline are blended together to make the three grades of gasoline you can choose from at the pump. Regular, special, and super gasoline meet California's high standards. Different octanes for things, just the, uh, the quality of the gasoline. We just make it, we blend all the processed gasolines through the units together to make what octane we want. And then we have Exxon Mobil has their additives for the super unleaded that we send out to the gas stations. At one time, vapors potentially harmful to the environment or to human health were simply allowed to escape into the atmosphere. Each time a trucker filled up the gas tank, for example, vapors escaped into the air. Process engineer Margaret Chan explains that vapor recovery systems not only protect the environment, but conserve resources that might otherwise be wasted. The vapor recovery system is part of the environmental excellence that we try to achieve here at the refinery. You know, not only do we try to provide high quality gasoline for the public, we also try to you know, meet our customers' energy demands in an environmentally responsible manner. And the way we do that, one way, is through the vapor recovery system. The refinery's vapor recovery system collects all those vapors and gases, and it combines it with other vapors and gases that are collected throughout the refinery, and it's sent to another unit, and it's called the field gas treater. They treat it so that it can be recovered as field gas, and it can be used as energy. The Torrance Refinery always looks for new technologies to improve the refining process and their environmental performance. In late 2005, they completed construction of a selenium unit, which runs 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Okay, well I'm standing at the selenium unit that's directly behind me. Uh, as you might know, selenium is naturally present in uh, the crude oil that we process in this refinery, and it accumulates in the excess water that's generated during the refining process. This unit removes the selenium from the water before the water is discharged to the Los Angeles County Sanitation District. While every element of the environment is important, at ExxonMobil they concentrate their efforts on air, water, and waste minimization programs. In addition to meeting the specifications that were established by the County Sanitation District, there's a couple of environmental aspects of the project. One, you'll notice that the entire facility is surrounded by a concrete wall. That wall is there so that if there is you know, something unanticipated or a, a material uh, failure, we would actually be able to contain the entire contents of any of those tanks as a result of that. Uh, another thing you might notice is that the thickener and the clarifier are both elevated off the ground. This is so that we could maintain the unit uh, while the unit is online, also do inspections and basically keep the unit operating 24 hours, 365 days a year, meeting the specifications established by the county. Peggy Worsing is an environmental group leader responsible for ensuring the refinery maintains compliance with local and federal environmental regulations. A 24-hour hotline is available to the community whenever there is a question or concern about what's going on at the refinery. Most of the calls that we get are about flaring, uh, about odors, sometimes about noise, and um, and sometimes the uh, person who's responding to the call actually leaves the refinery, goes to the person's home so that they can hear firsthand or smell firsthand what the person is experiencing and, and that helps determine what the issue is. Through various avenues, ExxonMobil looks for ways to get feedback from neighbors and provide awareness of what they do. This site is quite often um, seen as a mystery to the community. There's uh, 750 acres here behind walls and a lot of shrubbery and people can't really see the actual facility, but they certainly can see what's high and what's up in the air. The steam clouds are a perfect example of that. 
There's a steam cloud that come from our cooling tower that are not unlike uh, cooling towers you see on the top of skyscraper buildings. And you'll see steam coming, rising from those cooling towers. Well, to the community, they see these white billowing clouds, which on some days are quite dark because of the position of the sun. And if, if the community doesn't understand what those are, um, what we want them to do is to contact us, whether it's by a phone call or responding to the Ask Pete section in our Neighbor to Neighbor newsletter. That's a, a, a column that our refinery manager responds to. We want to address those questions, whether it's about the clouds, whether it's about emissions from the refinery, noises, lights. Um, we get all kinds of questions. And our responsibility is to answer them, whether it's a phone call or a letter or an email. For more information, log on to the Torrance Refineries website at www.torrancerefinery.com. Or you can contact...